In this tutorial, I'm showing you how to get from raw data to the final coordinate image. I'm not going much into details of all the settings here. The idea is just to introduce you and familiarize you with the workflow. For this example, I've selected a small data set from the Whitefield Imager at the 2.5 meter Isaac Newton telescope. The data are here, arranged in three directories bias, flat, and science. And as you can see, we have five biases, five flat fields, and four science exposures. The first thing you need to do in Tele is to come up with a project name, say demo WFC for the wide field camera. And then you need to select this specific instrument from the list of predefined cameras that are available. That is down here. This one. So second step, you need to reflect this data structure in this data tree. Data one, demo, bias, let and science and that's all you need to do you're ready to go what you do is you work yourself through these two tabs the first one calibration tasks removes the instrumental fingerprint from the data and in the second task uh, you work towards the coded image so first you need to do the hdu reformatting what this does is it removes uh, things like nonlinearity, gain differences, and the overscan. And it does this for the biases, the flat fields, and the science exposures. Then you create the master bias, the master flat. This will subtract the master bias from the flat. And then you apply the bias and the flat to the science data. If you want, you can create what I call a bint preview. This is just to give you an easy way to quickly eyeball that everything is OK. You see here that the detectors of the white field camera are arranged in a slightly peculiar manner. And using the arrows up here, you can very quickly browse through these images. Once this is done, you move over here, you create the global weight maps. Basically, these are just copies of the normalized flat field. You create individual weight maps. And then you have to create the source catalog. The source catalog will be used to register the images with respect to each other, and in the next step also to align them on the sky. Over here, you can see how many sources were detected in each of the exposures. Next is the astrometry. This uses a software called SCAMP. And SCAMP produces a number of check plots, which you need to eyeball and verify that they are correct. I'm not explaining in this tutorial what these check plots display in detail. This will be part of another tutorial. But basically, uh, you have to eyeball these plots. In this case, these are the astrometric residuals. This is the distortion plot. And this is how the four uh, detectors are aligned on the sky. And lastly, you have a plot displaying the relative photometric zero points. If you're happy with these plots, you accept the solution. Next is you run the sky subtraction. Over here, you can see an estimate of the background value in each of the exposures. And the last step is the coordination. 
If you want, you can also perform uh, flux calibration at the end. Let's do this too. In the first step, the individual images are resampled. That means the distortion correction is the distortion is removed from the pixel data. Then we are filtering for outliers, cosmic rays, satellites, and now the images are stacked. Tilly will then display you the corded image. So you see the four detectors have been nicely stacked together. And you are already shown another window for the photometric calibration. In this case, uh, the data were taken in the R band. So you select R band filter, the color term you want to use, G minus R. The saturation limit has been detected automatically. And let's just run this. This will query the PenStars database and uh, also run an object detection over the image and then match the sources in your image against the PenStars photometric references. So it'll take a few more seconds to finish. Meanwhile, while this is running, the coded image you can find in the science directory. There is now a new directory called coad underscore r. The r represents the Sloan Arben filter. And there's your coded image and the coded weight. Now the photometric solution has converged. Uh, you see a series of aperture magnitudes, and then you select whatever is your, your best sweet spot. For example, this one. Down here, um, these are the, the color terms. You see the stellar locus here, and there are a couple of galaxies up here. If you want, you can fine tune this detection, or you can get rid of the galaxies here by fine tuning the detection parameters up here. But again, this will be part of a different tutorial. If you want, you can do all of these steps in one go. To this end, you click on this stack of hard disks up here. This will delete everything that we have just done. And then you select all the tasks that, you, that we've done previously. HD reformatting, bias, flat, science, weight maps, catalogs, and then go. Personally, I do not do this very often because it's flying, it's like flying blindly. But if your data sets are very stable and you're very familiar with your instrument, uh, then you can do this. It's already creating the astrometric check plots. We just accept them here now. Sky subtraction. And the coalition. And you're done.